Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy. Hello. So today's Pick a Card Love Tarot reading, we are going over their honest thoughts, what's going on in their mind. Um, I'm also going to pull some cards to see what they honestly would like to tell you. Um, that'll be a section within the reading. But yeah, we're going over what are their honest thoughts of you? What are they thinking about you? What's on their mind about you? Those kinds of things is what we're digging into today in this reading. So um, thank you guys all for joining. I appreciate the support. Um, as always, I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, we have a three piles for, I have three piles for you guys today. Um, so pile one, we have the Everyday Witch Tarot. And I have this paired with this really cool pistachio calcite palm stone. For pile one. Pile two, we have Orion's Animal Tarot. I have this paired with this lovely Carnelian Palm Stone. For pile two. In pile three, we have the Guardian of the Night Tarot with the Septarian Palm Stone. For pile three. So guys, take a deep breath, go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. Um, if you're drawn to more than one, feel free to watch more than one. You can watch different piles for different people. This is, um, I am reading from a romantic love perspective. If you want to watch about someone else, you can tweak the messages. You should be able to get um, information on what someone is thinking about you. Uh, feel free to do whatever you guys want to do <laughs> with this reading. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch for a non-love person, Again, totally fine. Um, you just might have to tweak uh, some of the love messages out of there. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I guess I just also wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support during these last two hurricanes. <laughs> um, me and my family are fine. Um, I had a lot of loved ones out of power for almost a week. We are, are back. I'm still out of internet. I had to go buy a separate hotspot just so I could um, do these readings and upload them on cellular and not use up my phone, tie up my phone, because it's taking, just from personal readings I've been doing, it's been taking like an hour to two hours to upload short videos um, onto YouTube via cellular. So hopefully this one doesn't take too long um, to do once I'm done recording um, and I'll get it out there for you guys. So, but again, I appreciate your guys' support, all the love. Um, I had some donations um, that really does help me out. This is my main source of income. Everyone that did book readings, I am working on them. That's part of the reason I got the the mobile hotspot or a different one, a separate one from my actual, my actual cell phone. Uh, just so I can make sure I get to everyone's readings. And again, thank you guys so much. Um, you guys are the best. The emails, the reach outs, the comments, the support, the watching of old videos. That's really helped me out um, to keep things going. So thank you guys so, so, so much. All right. I will leave these up for a moment. If you need um, time, more time to decide, feel free to pause the screen and then I will see you at your pile. The timestamps will be in the description box below, the pinned comment, as well as the chapters underneath this video, depending on how you are watching it. All right, guys. So I'll leave these up and then I will see you at your pile. Hello, hello, my lovely friends for pile one. You guys picked the pistachio calcite, super cool <laughs> palm stone, and the everyday witch tarot. So we are going over their honest thoughts about you, what's in their mind about you, uh, potentially some stuff that they want to say to you. Um, I'm going to have a special section for that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start with a bit of an energy check-in just to help you know if you're in the right spot. If that's not your jam, feel free to scroll through till you see me start pulling these tarot cards. Um, but for those of you who like the energy check-in, um, we're going to start there. And the point of the energy check-in is to have all my papers fall on the floor. Um, maybe somebody's clumsy for an energy check-in. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Um, but, uh, 
energy check-in is for you to help you know if you're in the right spot, um, just to kind of give you that that vibe of something about it should resonate for you just to help you know. So if you have like a special little like symbol that you want your guides to show you, feel free to ask that or think about that. All right. Um, I do want to start though from this opening card. I picked different opening cards for the deck this time. Um, so we picked the judgment card. So we do have this vibe of awakening, of coming back to life, of resurrection with the Judgment card. Um, it's not traditionally assigned to Scorpio, but it does have that death and rebirth kind of vibe to it. Uh, very much like uh, Scorpio energy, eighth house energy could be resonant for someone. Now we do have all this music notes and, and this cat kind of caught up in it. So there could be a, a musical connection um, if you're drawn to this pile, something about like um, being mesmerized in music, mesmerized by this person, uh, some sort of lyrical. I'm also seeing someone who who writes music or writes poetry or something like that, or just writing. Uh, maybe people that collaborated on, on some sort of um, musical endeavor together as well for some of you. But I do want to hold this one out because it is going to be part of our energy check-in. And let's get some more. So energy check-in, pile one. We got two. Energy check-in, pile one. Energy check-in, pile one. Energy check-in, pile one. Give me one more. Energy check-in, pile one. All right, let's see what we have pile one. So we have six house, which is ruled by Virgo. So there could be some Virgo connections. This card says six house focuses on our physical um, and mental health, as well as personal growth. It encourages you to reflect on your routine and prepare for the unexpected. We have the number 33 here. So there could be um, someone could work with physical fitness, mental health. Um, there could be like a, a vibe for uh, mental health in this connection, um, growth with that as well. Someone could be like a personal trainer or something like that as well in this connection. Number 33, I think is really important. And they're really drawing me into, I know that like the six houses about our routines, but someone being very fixated on time here. We have this house with, with this alarm clock in it. So there could be either a joke around alarms, someone maybe snoozes their alarm a lot, but there or there's, could be a preoccupation with timing with this. All right, we also have the ninth house, which is ruled by Sagittarius. This is about travel. This is about expansion. This is the ninth house represents your sense of what lies beyond the horizon and invites you to travel physically and mentally through higher education, philosophy, and religion, number 36. Um, so there could be a distance for some of you with this. We have an airplane here. Someone could travel for work. There could be like a lot of like trips or something like that um, involved in this connection as well. All right, we have Estefania, she who surrenders, chains, bondage, and release. So there could be some whips and chains <laughs> um, in this connection, but this is all about releasing, someone surrendering, someone like giving, giving over to whatever happens. Surrender is a beautiful energy to be in. You're just like, I'm happy and content as is and to whatever may come. All right, we have love. Love is the base essence of your of our being, devoid of all pride and fear. So there's a lot of love in this connection. Um, this violet color could be important. It's interesting. We have like these violet kind of hearts here that are flowers, but we have the violet hearts here as well. Um, so definitely a lot of love in this connection. We have the chariot, so cancer vibes showing up. Um, so a lot of forward momentum. This also is about travel. So there's could be, again, another signifier of a distance between the two of you. And then we have beautification, reorganizing your life. And that, that's very like six houses, Virgo, it's organization, things like that. Um, like everything in where it belongs. Um, it says masking or covering true feelings. So there could be a lot of love. There could be a feeling of needing to restrict or hold back love. Maybe that's why you're here to um, see their honest thoughts because you feel like things are being masks, masked or not spoken about. Um, so yeah, so if any of that resonates for you, again, all of it doesn't have to fit, but hopefully something in there um, hit home for you. So let's jump into the tarot. 
So what is pile one's person's honest thoughts? Honest thoughts, pile one. Honest thoughts, pile one. Queen of Cups. So this person sees you as very nurturing. There's a lot of love here. We did have love in our opening, but this is like, this is very Cancer vibes. Um, when the Queen of Cups pops up for me, in a, in a, especially in a love reading, it reminds me of someone like where you have a special place in this person's heart. Like like you hold a special spot that no one else will take kind of vibe. Um, there's very nurturing. There could be a motherly connection here. Some of you may have children with this person um, or you could be a mother or just like this nurturing, loving vibe here. So their honest thoughts is they see you as this beautiful, nurturing, loving, abundant person. We have all these fish and you seem very generous with your love in your heart as well. So we have the star. I feel like you're healing this person. Now we have Aquarius vibes showing up. So there's something unique about you. So I think of Aquarius uh, people, they're, they're like the aliens of the Zodiac, right? They're very much the star seed. So some of you may resonate with that. Um, I have Aquarius rising. So, um, but this person, so you're kind of like this wish come true. So not only does this person see you as this very nurturing, honest person, there's something almost like outer worldly about you that this person sees, but also there's something slightly out of reach. So either there is is a physical distance for some of you, but are there something like this person can't quite get a hand on you or get a handle on you? Again, it's like, it's, it's like wishing on that star, like, being like at a distance. So, um, but being in awe of something that's at a distance. Some of you guys may only know this person online. Um, some of you may be some sort of influencer where this person's kind of like in awe of you. Um, the star is also about healing and connecting. Um, but very optimistic and hopeful. So this person sees that in you. They're also very hopeful and optimistic about this connection um, or something coming from this or something coming more from this. Uh, some of you, it depends on your situation. Remember, these are general readings, so you have to take it for how it fits for you and your situation. Some of you, this is a long time relationship. Others of you guys, this may be very new. Um, but there may be like a new phase kind of coming in. It, it, it feels very... Like someone that wants to know you, but may not know you as much as they want. Does that make sense? Like this person, like, it's like, I, I need to know more about you. That's how this is kind of coming in. We have the two of wands. So definitely this person, also another card of distance or travel, um, wanting to, to have a piece of your world, to hold you in their hands. Um, we have these two lit flames. So I feel like there is a lot of attraction going on, but again, a lot of like watching from a distance going on here. So what are they thinking? I just heard like, I want to hold you tonight. I want to like, it, it's just a vibe of someone that can't quite get enough of you. The Knight of Swords. So our Knight of Swords can be a little bit of a chaotic energy. He is very quick. He's our, one of our fastest knights. So he might be the fastest knight. Fastest knight. Um, but there is this, there could be gossip or drama associated with the Knight of Swords. But what, what this is feeling like when it comes to their thoughts, I feel like at times their thoughts get a little chaotic um, about you. Like there's just so much going on. Like it's, it's very intrusive. Like I have, we have all these birds kind of flying somewhere, kind of flying in different angles. It feels like this person is constantly consumed by thoughts of you. Like you, you pop in and I almost want to say in the least opportune moments at times, like when this person's trying to focus on something important, here you show up or like there's a synchronicity or your name shows up or something like that, where this person can't quite escape you. I don't think that they hate that, <laughs> but it's like, dang, everywhere I turn, here you are, you know, kind of vibe. All right, let's clarify all these. Um, let's see, can we clarify this Queen of Cups, get more information on what this person's honest thought is about this Queen of Cups energy. All right, Ace of Pentacles. 
yeah, this person wants some sort of new tangible beginning or new next phase with you guys. We do have this house in the background. So if you're in a committed relationship with somebody or it's leaning that way, I could see that this person would want to give you a home or want to build a home with you. Um, others of you, this person just wants to touch you, wants to hold you, wants to be very like hands on is what I'm hearing. Um, but have some sort of new beginning. Again, for some of you, this is a newer relationship. Um, that's kind of sparking and it, it's like the shininess of something new. Um, but and others of you guys, if, if you are already in a relationship, this is like someone wanting to take this further. I'm going back to this chariot and all this forward momentum, all this, let's move ahead. Let's, let's plan for a future. Let's, let's, let's make this happen. We have two, two cards here of like holding something in your hand. Actually, everybody's holding something. Do all our cards have someone? Yeah, I guess they do. I have a knight of, of pentacles as I look for that. But it's like, I want to offer you something real, something tangible. Not only my feelings, but but something real that you can hold on to. But I also want to share my thoughts with you. And I want to share you the world and outer worldly kind of vibes. I'm really digging this pile. <laughs> pile one. I never know where these readings are going to go. So let's, let's keep going. Honest thoughts. Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is someone willing to put in the work, someone that sees you as worth the effort. If I'm looking at their thoughts about you, this person would see you as someone that they can put in something they can grow with. They they want to put in the effort. They want to put in um, the time, the care. Um, it's interesting, this, this broom, obviously this is everyday witch hair, so the, most of them have brooms somewhere throughout here, but this broom is up on the wall. So it's like this person feels like I'm not going anywhere. I'm ready to invest my time here. I want to make this work. I want to see what magic we can create together. Okay, let's see. Two of Wands. There's the Empress. Somebody also could honestly want to start a family with you. We have our Queen of Cups here is pregnant, is shown pregnant in this, and the Empress, you know, can be fertility, um, birthing something, creating something. Um, but I, I can't, I can't pass that by. Like someone could want to have a child with they want to start a family with you. But this person, they see you as so beautiful. The Empress, when it shows up in these types of readings, you know, it's like very much that soft spot in the heart. I want to give a nod to Taurus and Libra here because um, Empress is ruled by uh, Venus. Venus rules uh, Libra and Taurus. So, but this person sees you as like almost outer worldly beautiful. Again, like that, that Aquarius, like shining stars, what you are kind of vibe. So this person holds holds you very high in their mind, but it's like they're trying to to figure out how they can. There's there's a feeling of like I want to impress you. All right, let's see. Let's, so we have the Hermit and we have a Three of Cups in reverse. Clarified by this. Okay. If there has been, this is going to be a very specific for a specific situation. This isn't going to be for all of you. If you were in some sort of third party situation or this person was in a third party situation, I do feel like this person wants to let that go. They want to be um, in more of a solid standing relationship. This could be something they want to communicate with you. Um, but I feel like this person doesn't want to involve other people in your connection. So this doesn't have to be a third party, but it's like, I want, I want to be, you know, very singular with you. Now the hermit is like a sol solitude energy, but the way these came out together, it does feel like, no, I don't want it to be like a group thing. Or if you guys have only hung out as friends, it's like, I want to hang out with you like one-on-one -on -one kind of energy. This is Virgo energy coming up again. The Three of Cups, though, is friendship energy. It is reunion energy. It is reconciliation energy for some of you. Again, there's there's this, it came up in the reverse. So there's like a vibe of, I don't want to just be friends with you. I want something deeper. So the Hermit is deep, like reflective, self-aware, conscious energy. It's, it's, you know, it's a deep level of healing in this card. Um, so, but it's coming from a very pure place and this fire is beer, burning from a very pure place. It's not just friendship. This is something deeper that this person feels for you and wants with you. 
That's our bottom of the deck. And we have a two of pentacles. So this person does feel like they're trying to weigh out their options, just trying to figure this out, trying to balance everything they have going on. Um, yeah. So a couple things that are coming up again, these may be very specific to a few of you. So take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. There's this vibe of, I, I, I'm trying to, to figure this out. I want to plan this out. I want to have this future with you. I want to have this solid ground. I want to build a home. I want to build a family. Um, these are all the thoughts that I have, but for someone like there's, there's a, there's a nervousness in this energy that I'm reading that someone is like, can I do this all? Can I be this person? Can I, can I stand or level up to where this person sees how they see you? So again, this person sees you kind of out of reach. So if you guys are not at a distance, it's this feeling of they're at such a high level or this person's put you at such a high level that they're not sure if they can meet you there right so this person feels like they are in this like planning mode of how to do that to how to elevate how to get to your level so uh, there's definitely like a the being put on a pedestal kind of vibe here all right i want to pull some oracle cards can we get some more insight to their thoughts and then i'm going to say pull what they actually want to say to you in tarot anyways and then we'll do our other normal cards okay these two want to come out Good luck. So yeah, this person sees you as a bit of good luck. Um, they see you as very serendipitous. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of synchronicities going on. Um, they feel like you, you've brought a lot of luck into their life. Like you're, you're like that pot of gold sitting at the end of a rainbow. So this person also may have been through a lot and it's like you're, again, the, the reward at the end. Or you guys personally may have been through a lot with each other and now you guys are coming to kind of claim the rainbow after the storm kind of vibe. And then we have closure. So yeah, so this person wants, wants something to happen here. They want some sort of ending or closure um, with this. Um, a, closure is about completing something, completing a cycle. So mm, depends on how that looks for you. If you're watching and you guys haven't talked in a while, um, I do feel like you, again, kind of are intrusive in this person's mind. This person may be wanting to reach out to have some sort of closure. Like, do we, do we end this? Do we end this current cycle? Like, again, we go back to this surrender kind of vibe here. Um, this person does feel very connected, very bound to this connection. So there may be a need for communication or to sort some things out. That could be what they're planning, like to figure it out. So with that said, with that energy, that nerve, this nervousness makes more sense to me now. So I feel like this is to that specific situation where this person feels nervous and this could be coming from maybe you are out of reach. Maybe you are at a distance. Maybe there is no contact for some of you. This person could want to kind of have some sort of closure because they feel like there's a, there's a door open here and they don't know where that's going. But the nervousness comes from not knowing if you'll allow them in or if you're going to shut the door on them. It's kind of how this is coming in. All right, I want to see what do they want to say. So Kyle one's person, what do they want to say? We have the cherry again. It came out with a four of swords. So this person does want to bridge the gap. They do want to move forward. They have been contemplating this a lot. I feel like this person wants to tell you how much they've been thinking about this connection, how much they've been meditating on it. Um, the Four of Swords is typically a card of inaction, but it came up with an action card. Um, so I feel like this person is think this again, this is meditation. This is card of inaction. It's resting. It's thinking on something. So with these two coming out, I feel like this person is wants to tell you how much they have thought about this, how much they're thinking about how to move this forward, how to bridge the gap for some of you. Um, possibly even moving or traveling, you know, that that is that um, energy. And we did have the chariot pop up in your, in your energy check-in anyways. Again, that Cancer vibe. So they want to tell you how much they've been thinking about how to move forward in this connection. Or do they move forward or do they have to leave this behind? depending on how it fits. What else does this person want to say? The 
king of swords. Yeah, they want you to know how much that you're on their mind, how much that they've been thinking about this, how much they also so possibly some new ideas or some clarity they've gained on their own personal life, their plans, what they really want. I feel like this person, if in the past they were a little wishy-washy and didn't know what they want, they want to tell you that they've really contemplated on where they're going in their life and they have a lot of clarity and they want to share that with you. Um, and then we have the moon. So I feel like you have been showing up in their dreams. They could want to communicate. They also, if they have fears around this connection, they do want to share that with you. But the moon is about stepping through our fears. It's about stepping into the light and actually being seen. So I feel like this person wants to, all the things that were like a mystery between you guys to reveal that, reveal the truth. They also want to tell you their emotions. So the moon is attached to our intuition. It's attached to our emotion. It's attached to cancer again with these cancer vibes coming up. I also want to give um, a nod to Pisces. That's traditionally what's assigned to the moon card. So, um, and by the way, I will be doing confirmations at the end of this pile. Um, but um, I'm just hearing like, I, wa I want you to see me for me. The good, the bad, the all of it. So I feel like this person, at least for a few of you, there's, there's some truths that need to come out. There's some things that need to be spoken, some emotions maybe that never been talked about that really, this it's like almost like weighing on this person. Like I can't, I can't get away from it. Again, we, you know, I was talking about this person where it just like pops in their mind. Like I have to tell you this, I need to talk to you. Um, I just realized we had a, our big glare. Oop, and I should, if you guys didn't see that card, I know there's a glare on that right now. But, um, Hmm. Let me pull one more. What else does this person want to say? What does this person want to say? Whew. Ace of Cups. This is my I love you card. So some of them could want to express that level of deep feelings. Others of you, traditionally, this is just a new beginning and like a new emotional beginning. So this person wants to say, hey, I, I want to have this new beginning or I want to have this level up. I want this newness. We did have this Ace of pentacles but this person definitely wants to share all the emotions they've been feeling and express that to you and they want to tell you what's been on their mind so um that's what they want to say okay um i need a sip of my drink sorry okay let's move into our song cards so any repeat viewers know the song cards so with the deal with the songs is if you know the song's cool, if you don't and you feel so inclined, there'll be a message for you in the lyrics. You don't have to listen to all of them. I do suggest you at least pick one that you're drawn to um, and listen to the lyrics or just read the lyrics. It's very easy to Google those. So let's see, song cards for pile one. We have Never Stop by Safety Suit. And a lot of these I've never heard of. They're, they're suggested by you guys, so. We have Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Goulding. Songs by Pile One. Songs for Pile One. We have Songbird, which we did have that song kind of vibe. I, I don't know the song either, I don't think. Eva Cassidy. Ooh. We have Disarm by Smashing Pumpkins. And then we have Life After You by Daughtry. I also want to give a nod. I'm going to go ahead and take it. We have Across the Universe by Beatles. The, or the Beatles. Um, even though I'm hearing like the Fiona Apple version of this song playing in my head. I know a lot of people do cover that. So those are your songs. If you want to screenshot those and pick one afterwards, feel free to do that now. All right. I'm going to pull some message cards from our person. Then we're going to do confirmations and then guidance. So um, I think for this one, I'm going to do our hidden truth. So just like these readings, since they are general readings, not all of these may work for you. So just keep that in mind. If, if one of these doesn't fit for your situation, just let that go. Like you do anything else in general reading. All right. Pile one. What does this person want to say? I look for you everywhere. I'm afraid to contact you. Okay. I can't reach out. Hmm. Someone feels a little haunted. Maybe that's that like 
maybe some of you guys have blocked this person. I don't know. Um, if there is a third party, there could be like a fear around that. Maybe you're with somebody else. I don't, I don't know. I remember every detail of that day. So there's a day, a specific event or something that just repeats in this person's head about you. I won't let you down. So this person doesn't want to let you down. Again, they, they think very highly of you. Um, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So some of you guys may be a catalyst for each other in spiritual growth. I hide behind material things. They didn't really talk about that in the Eight of Pentacles because I do feel like they they want to put work into this. But this also could be someone hiding behind um, material things. And I also forgot to say some of you guys may have a work connection with that Eight of Pentacles showing up. I miss seeing you. I'm becoming a better person. I want to start over. You inspire me. I want to feel that way again. So there's some special way that you make this person feel. And it kind of feels like, like nobody else does. And so they, if they haven't seen you in a while, if they haven't connected with you in a while, um, or they just can't get enough <laughs> of that feeling that they get when they're around you. But I don't know how to feel. And there's a fear for somebody. There's an anxiousness around like, will this person even talk to me? So interesting. Okay. I am in a committed relationship. So for some of you, again, general reading, if you don't already know this about this person, then don't take it. But there could be like, this is why this person can't reach out. I know I messed everything or I know I messed up everything. And then I trusted you. bottom of the deck I can't stop thinking about you that's that 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 I was what I was getting with that knight of swords which I don't think I've ever had that specifically come up for my knight of swords before okay so we are going to um, for those that like those extra confirmations to see if I channel your person's name looking for attributes um, I'm going to move on to that don't forget to like this video if you guys do enjoy these readings it does help me out here in YouTube land and I appreciate it. But all right, let's start with just some confirmations for those who need it. And then I'll do advice. So for pile one, for those who need some extra confirmation, this is their reading or this is their person or this is for them. We have the third house, which is Gemini. We have the first house, which is Aries. Sixth house, that Virgo showing up again. We have Pisces energy. There also could be that dream connection coming in. We have the 10th house, so some of you guys, this is a work connection. There's that career connection. This is associated with Capricorn. And the fourth house is Cancer. So the corresponding months to these numbers, we have um, January, March, April, October, June, and December for dates. Okay, um, let's get some attributes. For those that need extra confirmation, this is indeed their person dark eyes there could or there could just be something very like specific about the eyes or the eye contact animal lover so one or both of you guys could be an animal lover very intriguing and light hair okay i'm just hearing like someone has like not a lot of hair <laughs> um so like the density is light for somebody okay Let's see. More attributes for this person. And... All right. That's all I'm going to get from here. All right. We have a guitar musical connection again. We have Cancer showing up. We have Leo. We have Bold. We have Dark Eyes again. Twin Flame. Some of you guys may be on a Twin Flame journey. We have Sagittarius. Aquarius and driven. So this is a very driven person. All right, let's get some letters and we'll channel some names. So for those that need extra confirmation that this is indeed their person, can we please provide that to them? Okay, a lot popped out there. All right, let's see. 
hearing Roger right off the top of the bat. So Ray, so we have R-A-E, E, O, S, P, N, P, so double letters could be important, E, T, N, and L. So Leon, Leo, um, Ray, Rayanne, Spain, Tipper is coming up. Tipper, I feel like that came up in another reading too. Um, Panay, I don't know how they're telling you. It's almost like a, a Panay. I don't know. Is that like a Indian name? I don't know. Um, rest. Rent, someone may also be into theater. Like I'm thinking about like um, like the 125,600 minutes. Uh, the musical Rent, gosh, why couldn't I come with that? Okay. Um, hearing Pamela. Someone with very beautiful tan skin. I'm very jealous. Melanin Lee. <laughs> <laughs> challenged. Okay. Um, Ray, Renee, um, someone, your SEX connection is off the charts. Uh, Xavier, Nepal, um, Penn, Penn and Teller. Maybe someone's into magic. Um, Pat, Patricia, Peter, um, Nat, Natalie, Nathan. Steven, Steve, Stefan, Stephanie, Steph. Said Renee, right? Um, hearing Laney or Lane, Lynn, Lauren, Ren, Nick. Someone could be Catholic. I, I have Pope here. Um, But now I'm hearing the Pope John Paul, so maybe John or Paul. Um, someone can have a lot of pets. We did have an animal lover. Arthur. Art. Neil. And also, if I, if I don't see your person's name and it's like clear as day, just take it. It's crazy how much I miss when I'm doing these. Um, the channeling's more for if something's not completely here. Trey, Luke, Luca, Lucas, Penelope, Paula. Taryn. Oh gosh. Tova. Sorry, my my guide show me people that I know or knew at one point in my life. I totally forgot about that girl. All right, so Tova came up. Sam Samuel Sayer. Someone could really like the book Narnia, Chronicles of Narnia. Alan, Aline, Aileen, Elaine, Ellen, L.
Ella. Noel, Noel, Noella, Novella. I keep hearing books or novellas or uh, poetry. So writing. Oh yeah, there we, have, we have poet in here too. Poet. I didn't know it. Um, someone could like to leave someone notes. Someone might communicate with their like note function on a iPhone, maybe hidden. <laughs> um, I said Roger at the beginning, right? Um, Palin, Paolo. Lynn, Lenny. Owen, Olin. Tess. Teresa. Tom. Thomas. I'm going to go foot fetish with toes. <laughs> all right. I think that's pretty much all I'm getting. Again, if you see the name, please take it. Please, 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 please. I keep hearing Leon, Leon, Leon. Okay. So I'm going to move on to our little bit of guidance section. All right, for those who would like a little guidance or insight or advice, can please provide that to them. We have a three of wands, queen of cups, and the star. Wow, we have some of the same ones that came up originally. So the three of wands is about waiting. So I, I feel like, you know, holding back, staying true to your own heart with this queen of cups, nurturing your energy, and it's okay to be optimistic and hopeful at this time about this connection. Um, but there is a feeling of like just holding back and allowing this person to come to you. Uh, with that three of wands is the energy of waiting for something to come in. But with the queen of cups, you make sure you need to honor your heart. And that star is like, you know, something that you're wishing on coming, coming true. Um, in the time being, um, there also could be some need for some help, like uh, self care and nurturing and healing of, of your own heart at this time. And then we have reflect, peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. So there's a need to reflect on things, reflect on yourself, reflect on any triggers that this has brought up. Um, Reflect on what it is that you want to bring in and manifest into your life or with this connection. But I'm here like get really honest with your heart and what you want and don't be afraid to ask for that. Especially if this person come like if you're this person's not in your life and they come back around. Like be bold in what you want and what you need. Because I think you have more power than you may realize, especially with how this person thinks about you. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much, Pile One. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. Again, don't forget to like. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can find the information in the description box below. Thank you guys as always, and I'll see you in a future reading. Bye, guys. Hello, hello, my lovely friends for Pile Two. We are going over their honest thoughts about you. Um, we'll do a special section on what do they want to say. We'll look into some feelings as well. Um, so that's what we're going over today. You guys were drawn to the um, Carnelian Palmstone, really beautiful, and the Orion's Animal Tarot. I'm going to start with an energy check-in. If that's not your thing, feel free to scroll through till you see me start. Um, 
divvying out the the tarot but for those that like the energy check-ins let's start there so with you being drawn to this ace of swords i picked different toppers for all the piles today so there could be some sort of new start in communication this could be a new connection for some of you um we do have the swan here swans mate for life and so maybe some of you that's uh, that's relevant um Side note, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, but uh, we have the sort of truth here. So there could be some sort of new truth or a recent epiphany or a new start uh, for you guys. Um, but let's pull some more for the energy check-in. All right, energy check-in, pile two. Energy check-in, pile two. As always, I appreciate you guys being here with me. Energy check in tile two. One fell on the floor from this deck, so I'm going to take it. And energy check in pile two. All right, let's see what we have. Pile two. All right, we have Taurus. So um, April, May could be important for some of you end of April, uh, beginning of May, um, building something, uh, earth signs could be, uh, relevant. It says Taurus are hardworking, intelligent, honest, organized, and kind. They enjoy stability and the outdoors, negative traits, possessive, and jealous. Uh, the number 13 could be relevant or something about those attributes. It says build something of lasting value. So there could be a connection here that has stood the test of time or you feel like it could um, remember with these energy check-ins at least something should be uh, relevant for you but it doesn't have to be the entire um, the entire thing all right we also have the two of bats which is the two of swords um, in this deck and so um, there could be like a decision or a choice that needs to be made or recently was made. We do have the Ace of Swords here as well. Um, but really uh, thinking about um, making a choice. We have communication. So, you know, uh, the Ace of Swords was here. Again, I, for some of you, there's a new chance in communication, new information that came out. Um, but communication is good, good conversations and needing to be heard then difficulties in vocal expression. So any of that could be relevant. I'm hearing the bar stool is important for somebody. Maybe somebody met at a bar or something about a bar stool. Um, I'm literally seeing like someone like falling off of a bar stool, but in a funny way. I don't know. That's interesting. All right. We have dreams and beauty came out. Dreams. See the um, possible pathways of a future that act as a roadmap for action. So dreams, there could be a dream connection. You guys could be showing up in your dreams. This could be your dream person. Um, we also have beauty. Beauty is um, unveiled by the lust uh, lustrous light within. So there's like a beauty within kind of vibe. That could be something this person has said to you. There's not only you're beautiful on the outside, but you're beautiful from within. And then we have she who prepares zenith formulate strategize and devise so there could be this sense of planning the sense of purpose to this maybe that's where this choice is someone is very decisive or wants to make sure that they decide properly so there also could be a timing for some of you like someone doesn't want to do something incorrectly they want to do something that's planned out well thought out because they they they're very honest and you know, hardworking. And when they, when they do something, they do it, you know what I mean? Or you, or just something about this connection. We also have the sort of truth here again. So some sort of new truth, new communication, new realizations could be relevant in this pile. So if any of that resonates for you, we're going to jump right in. Um, if it doesn't, you feel drawn, still stick around. Totally fine. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go. So pile two, what is this person honestly thinking at the time? We have the judgment card. So there is a realization, a wake up call, an epiphany of some sort. We have the sun. So you make this person very happy. I'm going to give a nod to Leo here. Judgment, I also associate with Scorpio, even though it's not the traditional card for it. But the sun. So you feel like the warm sun 
on this person's face after being cold for a long time. You've highlighted, you you make them feel alive. They feel very connected and warm. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, So I'm literally hearing someone say, you make me remember the version of myself I've forgotten. So there's something about, you know, especially with this like judgment son, it's like, you've brought me back to life. So someone could have been, you know, in a recent situation where they felt dull, they felt, you know, like things will never work out. I don't know. There, there's a feeling of someone being stuck in pessimism and then being brought back to life, being like optimistic again. Um, this person could see you as a bit of, you know, the warm sun, you know, like you're the sunshine in their life. Like I was lost, but now I see kind of vibe. We have justice. Okay. We've had three majors come out. So this is Libra vibe. So there's that, you know, a sort of truth again. Um, some epiphanies. This person also feels like you balance them out. You're very fair. They see you as a very just person. Um, as well. And then we have the Ten of Swords, which the Ten of Swords, it's a heavy energy, guys. It's the ending of a difficult situation. Um, I'll clarify these to kind of get more information. But what is this person thinking? I feel like this person wants to put an end to negative thinking. They want to put an end to um, feeling stabbed in the back. I'm going to clarify all these before I really go down that rabbit hole. So let's see. Give me more information on the judgment. Seven of Pentacles. So there's recent realizations about how they're spending their time, how they want to spend their time, and how they want to invest their time. We have the Five of Pentacles. Um, again, it's like someone rising from being in a state of lack to abundance. We have the Moon. Pisces energy showing up. All right, what's this Ten of Swords? And then I'll jump into all of these. Don't worry, but the Wheel of Fortune. The overall energy is the Six of Cups. So with you, this person definitely feels a sense of home, a feel a sense of connection. Um, it's uh, like past life connections kind of vibe here with the Six of Cups. This person also you could have known from childhood or this person could want to have children with you. So I'm really interested in this Ten of Swords Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is changing of fates. It's um, typically seen as a good good omen in, um, in tarot or like the things changing in your favor. The wheel's turning in your favor. Uh, we have a scarab beetle on here. So that may be relevant for somebody. And we have this compass. So this person feels like you kind of have, you know, shifted their trajectory. Like there's almost like a part of them, like they've let go of, and it feels like you are good luck. So I, I again, where I was talking about this person feeling like They've been through a lot. They, they've had trials and tribulations. And it feels like because of you, that is ending. Things are shifting. Um, this also feels very faded with the Wheel of Fortune. This can be about karma, destiny, things of that nature. Um, so it's like this ending of a cycle here and things shifting because of you. Um, I know I have a glare on this card, so I don't know if I held these cards up to you guys. I just want you guys to see if there's something that's pivotal that someone needs to see. So what is this person's honest thoughts? The moon, anytime the moon, cause it, you know, it's associated with Pisces. Um, I feel like all my Pisces people or a lot of them, um, have very prolific dreams or very, um, intuitive, insightful dream. So there, there's a dream connection for me with this. Um, so this person could feel like either, you know, want you to know that you're the person of their dreams, um, that you've shown up in their dreams. Uh, like they've been dreaming of this situation. Um, the moon is also, it's about being seen. It's about stepping into the light, going from the darkness and, and getting over the fears of truly being seen. And so this kind of feels like this person feels like you actually see them. I'm, I'm looking at this owl here and the owl, you know, they can see in the dark. Um, they can, they have very good vision. 
And so there's this feeling of like, you really see me, you see all of me, you've shined this light on me, you've helped me, you know, or you either, either helped me or you're helping me accept myself. Like there's, there's a feeling of gratitude that this person feels for you for being in their life. Um, some of you, this may not be completely romantic. This may, for some of you, be a friendship. Um, others of you, it is obviously very romantic, but it's this feeling of like, thank you for seeing me for me. Um, like there's so much appreciation and respect. Uh, it's, it's like you look past this person's perceived flaws and you really, you really see them and you're helping them shift and change and, and get rid of the old version of themselves. Also, I think that this person had a tendency to think that life was out to get them. And I think you've helped them see a new way forward. Also, this person feels like they can be very open and honest with you about all of it. Um, this person may have been someone that felt like they couldn't share or they felt uncomfortable sharing with other people, but because you feel like home to this, to them, they, they feel like they can, they can tell, you know, you about their past, about their future, about their hopes, their dreams. They, they feel comfortable that enough to be vulnerable with you. Um, this, this ace of swords could be relevant for some of you. There could have been a recent opening up of the past here. If anything else comes up before I move on. Yeah, it's like, I'm lost, but I'm found. It's amazing grace is popping up. So maybe someone, there's an amazing grace or someone's name is grace. That's come up in a, an older reading of mine. But I keep hearing that, like, I was lost, but now I see. Or I was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. I mean, I know that's also associated with being like a Christian song. So maybe there's association with church for some of you as well. I have a very distinct childhood memory about a piano and amazing grace that keeps popping in my head. Um, I want to see what's under here. So the five of cups, the five of wands, which is the fives are all changes. And then we have temperance here. Sagittarius energy and then a nine of cups. So yeah, I really feel like you have shifted this person. Like their honest thoughts are like a massive realization on how much you've changed them for the better, how much you're helping them, how much you're helping them grow, how much they're, you're helping them see a new way forward. I, I think a lot of you guys have been very much on your own spiritual journey or healing journey or therapy journey but it's 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 your view on how you view things it's how you see the world in such a beautiful way and and all of you not all of you but a lot of you may have been through similar situations with this person maybe you guys have bonded over some past experiences but it's like they're realizing that okay, just because this happened to me, it doesn't mean it has to define me. So they find you a bit of an inspiration to them. So I feel like you guys have had it really, really hard or a lot of things have happened, but yet you didn't turn negative. It almost propelled you to be the opposite. It, it, it propelled you to be the sun. It propelled you to um, go after all the things you're looking for instead of allowing it to, to crush you um, or bring you down. And so this person is like feeling like they've been brought back to life. Like it, life can be different. And a lot of that has to do with my mindset. So I think, again, a lot of you guys have a very solid mindset or you have a way of looking at things and realizing that, again, your past doesn't have to define you. Um, you define you, you know, and like, so you don't have to live in that, that retelling of, of your past. You can let it go and you can, you've helped this person leave things in the past in order to change for the future. Really quite lovely. All right. Um, let's see what else. Honest thoughts. I want, I want to move these up a little bit. Someone also, there may be a joke about a thirst trap. Like I'm super parched, but it's like all of a sudden this joke is kind of coming up. Like it made me thirsty, like that whole thing. Okay, so let's see. 
boundaries. One more. Yeah. There's four there, so I don't want to. Just one. Just one more. This one. Healing. Commitment. Okay. I do feel like you're helping this person. How you carry yourself, the boundaries you hold, maybe the boundaries that you set for people in your life. Um, again, if you guys have that shared, that storyline where it's like the shared um, past trauma, how you've handled the people in your life, how you've set healthy boundaries for yourself, you are helping this person see that that's how you can heal, how you can grow. But this person thinks that you're really, really healing them. Um, also, if you've put boundaries up against this person, I just realized, let me let you guys see these. So you don't have to be annoyed with the glare. Um, if you've set boundaries against this person, and maybe some of you guys are like second guessing that, like should I have done that? Should, you know, and maybe you're second guessing how you've stood up for yourself in a situation when it pertains to this person. I, I, I think that instead of like, like, don't, don't second guess it. Like that's only inspired this person like to change. And, um, and they respect you a lot for you holding your ground, holding your frame, knowing who you are in this life. And, and you healing you is also healing this person. Some of you guys may have a deep like spiritual connection with this person that like an energetic uh, kind of tie that you also help them in a different way. No idea what the noise is outside. I don't know if you guys could hear it. All right. Um, but yeah, this person sees you as a healing energy. Again, they feel very lucky to know you, lucky to have you in, um, in their life or to have met you, to know you. All right, I want to get some insight into some feelings because we haven't gotten a lot of feelings and then we'll see what they want to say. So let's see. I think it's more insight to how this person's feeling towards Pile 2. Tension, turbulence, arguments, and stress. Huh. That's interesting. So some of you guys may not be in communication with this person. That's interesting. Maybe that's why the boundaries are there. Okay. Again, general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Despair. Falling apart, sinking, hopeless. So if if there is an absence, is it, if there is a distance in this connection, I do feel like this person is unhappy about it. Um, it does stress them out. Uh, they are feeling a little sad about that. We did have that five of pentacles, which can be that lack or abandon kind of vibe here. Um, if there is a separation or a boundary set, like it's almost, almost made this person want you more. They, it's, I, I hate this thought or um, I hate when this happens. And I know that a lot of us that's happened too. It's frustrating almost, most, but it's that vibe of like not really realizing what you have until it's gone. So frustrating, right? <laughs> like, why can't you realize how great I am when you have me? But that's where like this, a lot of this energy is kind of now coming into this reading. Um, better off. I think this person is feeling like you may be better off without them. Um, but they're also better off for knowing you. This is that happiness perspective, clear-headed space. So it's like, I, I'm happy that you've changed me. I'm happy that um, you've changed my perspective on life. Um, but I am feeling this like weird energy coming in. This could just be an absolute one-off. These could be like one-off feelings for somebody, but I know this fits for somebody. Um, it's, it's, there's a, there's a worry here that you're better off without them. That is like almost eating at this person a bit. Okay. Let's see what this person wants to say. I have to shuffle these in between. So give me a moment. Let me put these all back in. From the last reading. My bad. Alright. Now let me shuffle these. Pile two. What does the person want to say, please? What do they want to say? Pile two's person want to say. What you want to say? We have a Ten of Cups. 
We have five, the Five of Cups again, which was right here. The Star. Then we have a King of Pentacles in reverse. So what this person wants to say, I, it's that regretful energy. Like, it's like, I realize what I've lost. I hope that I can heal. I still have hope and optimism for this connection, but this this King of Pentacles being in reverse, this person is feeling a little ungrounded um, about this connection. So those of you guys that are just in a connection with this person and, and it's, you know, a good connection, um, I could also feel like this scenario, because it does feel like there are two main divides in this pile of energy. Um, there's a feeling of like, I don't want to miss out on this. Um, I know I get hung up thinking about my past a bit, but like you are helping me heal. You're, you're helping me see what I want in my future. You're helping me know what like a deep fulfillment feels like. And um, I really want to get past to focusing on the past and focusing on my future and really healing and working through that. But I'm still working on this. I'm, I'm a bit ungrounded like that. That King of Pentacles energy being in reverse is someone not being completely sure on how to move forward or what they're doing. But there is like this hope and optimism here from this person towards you. Like you've made them hopeful again. And I think that's come through this whole reading the whole time. Like, even if, like, they don't get to be with you, you've made their life better. Um, okay, so I want to move on to our song cards. Leave that here. So if you're new here and you don't know the drill, so with the songs, if you know them, cool. If you don't and you feel so compelled, look up the lyrics. There will be a message for you in the lyrics. You don't have to do all the songs, at least pick one. Um, once I lay them all out, you can screenshot that if you'd like. All right, songs for a pile two. A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. Another Life by Motionless and White. Songs pile two. The Feels by Labyrinth. So many songs I don't know at all. These are all requ or put in by you guys. Separate Ways by Journey. One more. Yeah. Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton. I feel like taking the one that I saw. I'll, I'll Be by Edwin McCain. I just saw a funny TikTok about with his daughter in it about that song. <laughs> anyway, so there are your song guys. Um, if you want to take a screenshot, pick one. Listen to all of them, however you want to do that. Um, there'll be a message for you in the lyrics, but we are going to move to our channel message cards. Um, I'm going to use these two decks of these. All right, pile two. And just like the general readings, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Because some of these are very specific situational. So if it doesn't fit for you, just again, treat it like the general reading. Okay, let's see. Pile two, what does this person want to say? Hurry up. Honestly, I'm not doing well. I'm going through a lot right now. Remember, you don't need me to be happy. Happiness comes from within, my love. It's cold here in Florida today, and my rings are spinning because my fingers are cold, I guess. They're smaller than normal. All right. Thank you for loving me, even though there were times that I didn't show you the same love. And there's some of that regret energy kind of showing up here on these cards. Just tell me how you feel. Hurry up and tell me how you feel. <laughs> Karma is here to teach me a lesson. So that little fortune could be here. This person could be, if if something happened between you guys, like it may be showing them the truth right now. Do you trust me? And I know that we're not perfect, but we're perfect for each other. All right, and a couple more. Pile two, what does the person want to say? I smile whenever I get a message from you. I need you because I love you. I'm somewhere between giving up and seeing how much more I can take. You mean more to me than you know. 
I'll do one more little row. I'm truly sorry for my words and actions. You are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. It's so hard not talking to you. And I won't give up on you. Please don't give up on me. All right, guys. So there's your reading. I'm going to move into the confirmations for those that want extra confirmation that this is their pile or their person. We'll channel some names there. It's always a little fun section. And then we'll do advice afterwards. So let's get some confirmations for pile two. My goodness, this ring will not stay put. Okay. Pile two, for those that need extra confirmation that this is their person, can we please provide that for them? Okay, we have the third house, so Gemini, ninth house, Sagittarius, ninth house, Sagittarius, seventh house, Libra, Pisces showing up, which is 12th house, and another third house, um, Gemini. So this could person could, you could know them through siblings. They could be a neighbor. Uh, there could be someone that travels for work um, or you met through a higher learning situation. Someone could be um, like a partner, like you met through a partnership. Um, the dreams connections coming back up again. So the corresponding months to the numbers on here, we have March, September, July, and December could be important for some of you. All right, let's get some attributes. So for those that need extra confirmation that this is indeed their person. We have tall, so there could be a significant height difference. Short, tall and short, okay, yeah. Quiet, and one more for this pile. Light eyes. So someone could have distinctive eyes or lighter eyes. Height, height. Something about height is important. All right. Um, more attributes for pile two. So we have a gear. Someone could be like a gearhead. Work with work with inner workings of things. Um, be a machinist. Something like that. Someone could like to know how things work. Maybe someone likes to watch that show how things were made. <laughs> we have Britain, so British connection. We have Taurus. We have Sagittarius, Gemini, and Sagittarius again. And then Pisces. All right. Um, and the affinity symbol. So something going on for a long time. Crossing paths over and over. A couple more. Okay, we have Virgo showing up. Canada and blocked, so someone could be blocked. All right, let's get some letters and channel some names. M-A-Y, okay. I'm seeing May, Maisie, May, Maya. E, Mia, I. Y, T, C, Z, I, I, oh, USA popped out, um, Z and E, Zia, Zaya, Zyla, um, Miriam, I'm hearing Elena or Alina, Elaine, Tia, Mac, Mackenzie, Yara, hearing Elliot, Zion, Zine, Zia, Zadaya. <laughs> um, Itty, itty bitty. Someone could be just really tiny. All right. Um, Kat, Catherine, Katrina, Katarina, uh, Kathy, Caddy, Katie, Zaire. Someone complained in the comments the other day. They're like, don't make up names. I'm like, dude, I just freaking say whatever my guides give me. I don't always know names in all different countries. Calm down. All right. Um, <laughs> um, all 
Yasmina, Jasmine, and also if you guys see your person's name and I don't say it, just please take it. It's it's crazy the things that I don't see when I'm in here. Kit, um, Cindy, Sai, Sia. Mel, Melanie, I'm gonna say Rose. Just cause, uh, my guides show me different people in my head that I know. So I know a Melanie Rose. Um, Tim, Timothy, Mit, Mitchell, Mitch, MIT, there could be an MIT connection. Could be an American Eagle connection. Um, Ty, Ties, Ty, Tyler, Taylor. Michigan. I'm here, My Little Pony. No idea, okay. Um, Edith, Eden. Z, here Mika, Mika, Micah, um, um, this is very specific. Someone might have Pika. If you know what that is, cool. If you don't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's not for you. Um, I do know what it is. I have a friend that has that. Um, Kaz. And she has a brother named Kaz. How weird. Okay. <laughs> um, here in Maisie. I think I already said that though. Maisie, Taz, Tasmania, Mitch, I already said that, um, Michael, Michelle, here, Michaela, or Mi Michaela, Ithaca, that's a place, Italy, could be an Italian connection, right, that's pretty much what I'm getting for the letters, again, if you see your person's name, Sorry, I had a warning. Okay. If you see your person's name, please always take that. That's totally fine. If I don't say it, honor what you see. I miss so much when I'm channeling. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. I'm going to move into some advice or guidance in this situation. So let's see. What is some advice or guidance for Kyle 2? So we have temperance, patience, divine timing is at play. It's everybody's favorite. <laughs> um, the favorite thing when we say divine timing, right? We have an eight of pentacles and the devil. Here in the devil's in the details. Um, be mindful of, um, I, I do feel like divine timing is at play here for a lot of you guys. Um, there is stuff happening behind the scenes. Don't lean in to anxieties or um, the things, you know, the anxiousness that's making you want to do something that you know that you shouldn't. Um, also be mindful of like uh, avoidant tactics, like substance abuse for numbing yourself. Just if, if, that's very specific. That's for somebody. Um, we have Sagittarius Capricorn energy here. Um, 
but I'm hearing be mindful of how much you allow this to affect you. If if you guys are in some sort of separation situation, that things things are all going to work out how they as they should. And there's not really not much you need to do about it except for focus and work on you know work on being the happiest version of yourself. I feel like you know you've done a lot of work and helped this person a lot, um, and so you you you've played your role right um, here. And then we have choose wisely, be discerning. You don't have to keep everything in your net. So there's there's a little, you know, if if you guys are watching about a connection that even if it was important to you at one point, you know, it you might have been a lesson for them and you might need to let this go. Take it for how it fits if you've already been leaning that way. Um, and this is bringing you more frustration than happiness. Just, just, just be mindful that you do get to choose what's in your net. You do get to choose what's in your life. You do get to hold your boundaries. And, you know, sometimes we think that boundaries are for other people and they're technically for ourselves to keep. Um, and if someone doesn't respect them, then, you know, you have to still hold that boundary. And that could mean not having this person in your life or just people in general. This could be a general message for somebody else. I feel like someone needs to, to be mindful of who they share all their stuff with or like a friend that it's more like a friend of me. So just, just be mindful of that. Okay. So I'm going to end that here. Thank you guys so much. If you're interested in personal reading, you can find the information in the description box below. As always, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile three. All right, we are going over their honest thoughts about you. What are they honestly thinking about you? What's in their mind? We're also going to look at um, some honest things they would like to say as well um, as some other stuff in here. So you guys pick the septarian and palm stone. We'll stick that guy right there. And then the guardian of the night tarot. Um, I'm keeping these. I, I picked different ones for each of the, the pile toppers. So this is going to be kind of part of your energy check-in. I will be pulling more cards. If energy check-ins aren't your thing, feel free to scroll through until when you see me start pulling the tarot. So with this, the two of swords. The two of swords is about making a decision or not being sure whether to make a decision, being like indecisive or stuck between like a rock and a hard place. Um, actually that's not traditionally there, but that's just what came up in my head. We do have this beautiful little tree frog holding on to one of the swords. So there could be um, a need to make a decision or someone it feels like you guys, but uh, you could be dealing with someone. Um, but it's it's like you really have this one thought that you're kind of really holding on to. But there could be something else here that's kind of ruminating along this connection that is is also a choice that needs to be made. So put that right there, and we'll pull some more energy check in. It's pile three. This one. energy check in pile three. So the goal with the energy check in is for something. At least some part of this to resonate for you in your situation to help you know if you're in the right spot. Okay, energy check in pile three. Ooh, one fall on the floor, I'll take that. I'll one more. And energy check in pile three. All right, let's see what we have pile three for your energy check-in. We have the third house communication. So Gemini rules the third house. So there could be some Gemini connections. Um, third house represents how you develop your ideas and your style of communicating them. So there could be communication needed, or maybe that's what the decision is going around, or maybe someone has communicated that a choice needs to be made, or uh, this also could be for some of you, like an ultimatum has kind of come up in this connection. So we have the queen of swords, the queen of bats and the five of imps. So the five of imps is a five of wands. So there does feel like there's like this internal battle kind of going on with the thoughts um, or someone fighting against a certain idea or certain thought. Um, it's really interesting. The queen of, uh, the queen of swords is known for cutting people out really swiftly. So there also could have been like, I'm cutting out all the drama in my life, I'm cutting out all the competition, or maybe maybe you guys have a lot of people biting for your attention. This person is kind of, wants to be the front runner, and wants you to make a decision on them and, and quickly. All right, we have 
She Who Avenges, Nemesis, Revenge Outcomes, and Justice. So with the Justice, I'm going to give a Libra vibe there. Um, it does feel like there's like karma at play in this connection or something going along with that. Um, I forgot to point out the number 30 could be important for some of you. Um, we have energy. With boundless energy, you can accomplish more than you ever thought possible. So there could be an energetic connection. There could be a lot of energy in the connection. Um, someone could just be very energetic within the connection. Maybe someone can't sit still kind of energy. And we also have healing. Healthy, a healthy body thrives with consistent flow of balanced energy. This gives me like kind of three of cups vibes with these three women here. So there could be, that could be relevant friendship third party situation. That's surprising with some of this indecision kind of going on or need to make a decision and, and fighting over making a decision. Then we have sunglasses, cool, laid back and relaxed attitude, pessimistic view on the bad, uh, view on the bad before seeing the good. So someone could have a tendency towards that. The sunglasses, anytime I have glasses, I feel like somebody's like watching someone else or keeping an eye on someone, watching social media. But there's this there's this vibe coming in of like someone trying to play it cool. Like, oh, I'm not bothered, but yet they are bothered. Um, so that is relevant here too. So if any of this resonates for you in your situation, let's jump into the tarot. I feel like some people are here and they're like, I don't know if any of that really did, but I know this is my pile. So stick around too. All right, let's see. So, pile three. What are their honest thoughts? Pile three, honest thoughts. We have a seven of cups. Someone thinking about a lot of options, contemplating. This also is uh, daydreaming fantasy kind of vibes. Um, thinking a lot about things. Contemplation. So, they're, basically, they have a lot of thoughts about you. There's a lot of, like weighing things out or being heavily on their mind. Okay, I'll take these. We have a six of pentacles and the four of cups. Four of cups is about a missed opportunity. It can be about rejection. It can be a feeling of apathy or meh. It did come out with a six of pentacles. I'm gonna pull all these first to kind of get this story going. We have the king of cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune. What are their honest thoughts? There's a lot of deep emotional feelings here. Like this well runs deep kind of vibe. There's a feeling of fadedness or like meant to be in this connection. I'm going to clarify all these. Clarify the seven of cups, please. The tower, wow. Okay. There's that pessimistic. Someone could be like worried about everything that could go wrong. This person, it feels like analysis paralysis. That might be why this decision hasn't been made. Um, or they're worried that you, if you're the one making the decision, that you're not, you're, you're not focusing on the good. You're focusing on what could go wrong. Um, we have an eight of wands. Um, that's rapid change of communication. We have the Knight of Cups clarifying the King of Cups. And we have a Page of Wands. Overall energy, Two of Cups. Hot damn, okay. Um, let me move these guys over. So what are this person's thoughts of you? They feel like you are a faded partnership of theirs. They're very drawn to you. They very, feel very connected, but on a very deep level. Again, this well runs deep. These feelings run deep with this person, especially with this two of cups being our overall energy for how this, this person's honest thoughts. It's like, I see you as a partnership. I see you as meant to be in my life. Um, what's under here? The nine of cups, a wish fulfilled, 10 of pentacles. It's long lasting energy, lifelong energy. The two of cups is also in this the, the tip top of this nine of cups. So this person, regardless of your situation, I have a feeling like some of you guys, this, I don't know why I feel this way. Um, but again, what was it trying to, well, can't talk. All right. Someone also might get tongue tied around you. So, all right. Regardless of your situation, this person definitely sees you as you were meant to be in their life for some reason. 
Um, well, let me show you these two since the glare is sitting on there. Okay. All right. Um, like there's a fadedness to this connection. And this person feels very drawn to that, very drawn to you because of this, whatever this is, you know? Um, maybe this person is trying to decide what this is. You know, maybe they're fighting for clarity, fighting for healing and energy, but they feel energetically drawn. Now, the Seven of Cups clarified by the Tower. This is someone honestly thinking about or focusing on everything that could go wrong or they think that you are. Um, the Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So there's like, there could have been an, an equal give and take of missed opportunity, rejection, something, but there's like a need for change. This person wants to change the current situation. They want things to be different with you guys, either moving ahead, moving to the next level or coming together. This person has deep emotional feelings for you. They want to date you. They want to be romantic. They want to come forward um, if they haven't already. Um, but this is a feeling of like wanting to take you out, to show you things, you know, to, to let you see, but this is, this is a feeling of, I want to show you versus tell you, um, the wheel of fortune here with the page of wands. Again, there's this fadedness that this person feels. Um, the wheel of fortune is about things shifting in your favor when it's in the upright, I am taking upright all the way around, but this is just basically change and it can be faded. Um, it also can have karmic ties to it. So there could be some karma that you guys are clearing out in this lifetime. It's clarified by our page of wands. Our pages, our messengers, our wands are typically seen as like especially in love readings as our passion our, our attraction and things like that now the page of wands you know again the pages are a little more of an immature um energy but the way this is reading for me and in, in, in the energy is like like this is all new to me i'm new to feeling this way i'm new to what this is i'm new to feeling connected on an energetic and deep level hmm Somebody in here has a he who cares less wins energy, either you or them or both of you guys. It's like, oh, I don't want to let on that I care, but I do care. But you're not showing that you care, so then I can't care. And then you guys are just in this vicious cycle. <laughs> so um, it's going to take someone being vulnerable, but maybe that's where this choice is being made. Um, like to open up with that communication, to share, to open up their, their heart space more, to allow it in and, and give. Um, cause right now you're both kind of giving this meh <laughs> or there's an equal give and take of like, uh, whatever, you know, whatever happens happens. But yet underneath the surface of that is, is a real want for something different, a real want for something to be, to change. And again, deep emotional feelings here with the King of Cups and Knight of Cups. But worry around everything that could fall apart or go wrong. Okay, let's pull some more Oracle cards. How's our honest thoughts about the viewer? <laughs> I just heard you're too beautiful for me. <laughs> but that also could be like your soul. Like there's a feeling of like this person sees your soul as very beautiful. So you guys, are, there might be like a difference in normal types here as well. Okay, so we have well-being, spirit guide, financial health. So this person sees you as someone who has your stuff together, um, maybe financially as well. They do see you as a bit of a guide to them. You have helped their, their well-being. Um, they see you as someone, again, who has it all together. Not only are you like winning in, in the physical world, you're also winning in like this self-care, but also like spiritual kind of vibe. Yeah, I forgot glare. There are glare cards if you guys want to see those. Um, and before someone suggests the filter, I do have one on here. It still does it. All right. Um, I appreciate it. Just, it just is. All right. Um, I want to get some more insight to this person's feelings. Let me get some insight to feelings. What are they currently feeling? 
ascending, learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union and new phase. And this person sees you a bit as like a spiritual guide to them, like you're showing them a different way of being. Um, that's why this person feels like they it's not only you that's beautiful to them, but you're something about your soul is beautiful. It's, it's more than, you know, outside beauty. The butterfly. Evolving growth. Next phase. We have new phase, next phase. Healing inner child, releasing the past. So this person's, their feelings are, you know, they're deep in here, but they're also like wrapped up in this change, this ascending, this, this shift. You could have catalyzed this person for change. Um, one more wedding rings. Wow. Okay. Union to preparing for union, union, soul connection, everlasting love, devotion. Okay. There's our feelings. Um, we do have poker face on the bottom. Um, goodness. All right. So this person, their feelings, they do feel very committed to this connection, committed to having feelings from you, committed to their change. They do feel that soul level connection. Um, I don't think I talked about this with the two of cups. For me, it's one of my soul level connection cards. When you, I, I feel like this is a PSA, but when you do have a soul connection with somebody, um, it doesn't mean that's more special than other connections. It's just you feel it more and you are recognizing a soul that you know from a different life. Um, it means, you know, you guys already have those wheel of fortune, so you could have soul contracts with this person, things like that. Um, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. I feel like some people get very hung up on this is my such and such in a past life and that's cool. You're in this one now, you know, and, and, um, I'm not trying to downplay that at all, but when you get stuck on that and you're not realize or not seeing what's happening in your 3d with this person, because you're focused on something that happened in a past life, it happened in a past life for a reason. And you're, you're in this new life. So just keep that in mind. Um, I mean, it could still be freaking beautiful because of that. So, um, uh, but if, if that thought are hanging on to someone because of that and it's damaging you, just just be reflective on that. All right. That's really specific for somebody that might have been triggering. I'm sorry. It just needed to come up. Um, it was meant to set you free, not hold you back. Okay. Um, their thoughts. This, this person does feel committed to change, but there is... Or at least some of you, this person is committed to marrying you one day, to having this new phase, to whatever this looks like in commitment. But to, things are shifting and changing with this person to make that choice and to make a very committed choice. Okay, I want to look at um, what they want to say. What does pile three's person want to say? What does pile three's person want to say? What do they want to say? I feel the need to knock my cards. It happens every once in a while. I don't normally knock my cards. So maybe someone out there is a card, a pile knocker. <laughs> the world, you complete me. I'm completing out phases. Um, you know, the world is the end of the major arcana then to start again with the full so we do have new phase, next phase. So I feel like this person definitely wants to communicate that with you. Like they're ready for the next phase. They're ready to just complete out the current cycle. They want to move forward. The chariot, they're wanting me to move forward. There's, um, I'm going to give a nod to Cancer with the chariot. They could want to travel with you. They could want to tell you that they want to close a distance. They want to move forward with this connection. They want to make this choice. And then we have death and they're ready to change. Okay, wow. So the death card is death and rebirth. Scorpio energy. We have a lot of water energy in this, this pile. So there could just be a lot of water signs. The chariot, Scorpio, the cups. Um, I mean, we had a lot of everything, but that's just coming up like deep emotional stuff like this. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever said this well runs deep ever in my life. And I'm sure that's not like a new thing phrase, but I keep feeling like saying that, um, this well runs deep. Maybe that's something someone said to somebody. Cause it's like, so in my, the forefront of what I'm getting, um, 
with my messages. All right. What? I feel like I'm missing something that needs to be said. Give me a moment, guys. I don't want to move on to the next thing unless I get this. It, okay. It's, I just really like heard someone specific, so it feels like very one off. But someone was like, I hear someone talking about wanting to let the past go, wanting to let like things die, like the things that no longer serve you be left in the past and to move forward in a, in a new way, like let's complete out the old. So basically the scenario would come up like if say you guys have had <laughs> past in this life, you know, things, this isn't the first rodeo. This isn't the first go around. This is, this is someone really wanting to change for the better, but also needing to say if we do this if we go to this next phase we have to let the past go you i i i need you to to not keep bringing things up that i did in the past that i'm also ashamed of and focus on what we're doing now you know so there may be a need to let the past if if you want to move forward with this uh, you would need to let some of the past go I mean, if it repeats itself, then that's another thing. But if this person is really trying to change and they want to sh shift and move forward, you can't keep bringing up the old stuff. And if it is, if you find yourself triggered or scared, then that's that's maybe something you need to, to look at and work at. But it, it really feels like someone is like almost screaming, please let all that stuff go. I'm a change person. I'm working on this. I'm working forward. So... Uh, can you give me, if you're going to give me the second chance, if we're going to do this, let's do it like clean slate. And can you do that? And, you, and that's a, that's an honest question to ask yourself. You know, some things will like healthy relationships sometimes take complete forgiveness and starting from a clean slate, but also asking yourself, am I able to do that? And what do I need to do that? You know, um, and same with yourself, like letting the old versions of yourself go and move forward. Um, but if you can't do that, then you have to recognize that's just going to jam up wherever you're trying to go. So, all right. Let's move on to our song cards. So um, with the song cards, if you know the song, cool. If you don't and you feel so compelled, look up the lyrics. There'll be a message for you in the lyrics. Okay. I love when you guys are like, oh, I never looked the song up and I finally did. And holy cow, like every word was like, bam. So, all right. We have Shooting for the Stars by Bag Raiders. Don't know that one. Just the Way You Are, Bruno Mars. Possession by Sarah McLaughlin. All right. Um, we have Songbird by Fleetwood Mac. That one <laughs> did not want me to put it down. Uh, Christine McVie. All right. One or two more. Pile three songs. Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Listen to Your Heart by Roxette. Is that Roxette or is that Heart? I don't know. I don't have to look that up. I feel like every time I pull that card, I have that same feeling that it's not Roxette, but I guess it is. Actually, I think I've looked it up. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Those are your songs if you guys want to take a screenshot and when we're done with this reading, look it up and look for your lyrics. Um, let's pull some message cards from this person. Okay, let's see. Messages for Kyle today's person. I don't care what people think anymore. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. You changed my whole direction. Yeah, that's definitely here. <laughs> I don't want to let you down. I'm ready for more than just texts. I've been having weird dreams about us. So you've shown up in this person's dreams. I'm sorry I triggered you. I remember everything you've said. 
So your words really hold a lot of power to this person. They think about them a lot. They haven't for again where you came up where this person feels like you you're a bit of a guide to them. You're you, you're showing them showing them the way. Um, all right, let's use some of Lindsay's cards. I did reach out. I know a couple. I I don't think Lindsay's made any videos lately. I did reach out. I haven't heard back yet, but I'm assuming she's okay. Life be life and guys. Okay, so um, can you handle my scars? You're the only person in the world who really cares. When I talk about Lindsay, I'm talking about White Rose Guidance for those that don't know her name. I know she sings by a different name, Ashlyn, but okay. I want more with you one day. And the kindness in your heart is so beautiful. It's heartbreaking. We can't have more than we do now. You're the only one who understands me at a deep level. It's like you understand that well, that well runs deep. I'm afraid if I touch you, you will destroy me. All right, pile three, there is your reading. I'm gonna do confirmations and advice for those that enjoy that or like a little extra as this third person. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading more than a general reading, you can find the information in the description box. All right, let's get going with this. So pile three's confirmations for those that need extra confirmation. All right, we have first house, first house. So Aries, third house, Gemini, we have a zero. So new beginning, the full 10th house is Capricorn and Taurus would be the second house. Um, so corresponding months to the numbers, we have January, February, March. So the first part of that of a year and October, um, there could be a work connection for some of you. Someone could be a big foodie. I'm hearing someone rides like motorcycles um, or does like very like adrenaline junkie. Um, someone could work in communication or broadcasting. Um, or someone could be like a neighbor or close or you know them through a sibling as well. All right, let's get some, All right, let's see, attributes, magnetic personality, smart, and unique smile. So there's something very unique about their smile or possibly yours. All right, let's get some more. All right, we have Europe. Whoa, we got a lot of uh, charms. So we have Europe, European connection, we have Aquarius, Virgo, we have an owl, lots of knowledge, lots of higher learning. We have a pig <laughs> flying with a heart. So there could be something unbelievable about this when like pigs fly. Um, we have the Eiffel Tower. So there could be a France or French connection. We do have a guitar here. So someone could be a musician or musically inclined or there's some sort of music connection here. And then we have I forget what this is called, the medical staff thing. Um, I think it starts with a C. Um, but uh, someone could be in the medical field or there could be a medical condition or medical, something medical that's connected to your person or this connection. All right, let's see. All right, well, right, we just have a lot. All right, family, there could be a family connection, tropical, shy. We have magnetic personality, but shy. We have stubborn, loner, third party for some of you, and foreign. So you guys are just from different places. All right, let's get some letters and I'll channel some names. So pile three for those that need extra confirmation. All right, we have an L, M, L, M, N. <laughs> um, another L, O, L, M, N, O. <laughs> R, G, and a T. I haven't got any J's in a while. I know so many J people and I never pulled J's in here. <laughs> Maybe because I'm a J, I think. Oh, wait, I'm just kidding. <gasps> There's a J, I didn't even notice that. How weird, okay. It's like it appeared out of nowhere. You guys were like, it's been there the whole time. Um, Mona Lisa, like the Mona Lisa, that's that's in France, right? Like, like the, it's at the Louvre, right? I have no idea. I've never been there. 
um, but I'm here Mona Lisa, so someone could be Mona or someone could be Lisa. Um, John. Um, Monty. Mont. Someone could be like into mountains. Um, Lon. Someone could be Lon, Lonnie. Ron. Here, Nolan. Noel. Joel. June could be important. I'm hearing June bug, like a nickname. Um, hearing Titus, Greg, Godfrey, Game of Thrones. Um, Ronald, Tolkien, someone might be a big reader. I'm like getting like Game of Thrones, uh, Lord of the Rings, those kinds of things, which we do have that too. Lord of the Rings, interesting. Okay, um, or someone could be into that kind of stuff, like fantasy kind of vibe. We have Norm, Norman, Junior, someone could be a junior or the third. Someone could have been a juror recently. Someone could be on a bit of a journey, maybe in light. All right. Um, I'm hearing Griffin. Green. Someone has like a green car. Um, Mulligan. Joe. Josh. Tom, Thomas, any variation there? Um, here in Ginger or Virginia, a girl named Vir Ginger, but her name is Virginia. Um, LOL, <laughs> lol. Um, Stuck in a rut. Um, someone might have a, a nut allergy. <laughs> um, here in Tristan. I'm seeing the river runs through it with um, uh, Brad Pitt's character, which I believe his name was Tristan in that movie. Um, Someone's last name could be Wynn. Rickon. My light just went out. Um, Norman, Norm, I think I already said that. Uh, Lorna, Lorne. Lori, Laurel, Tori, Natalie, Torn, um, Gun, Gunner, someone could be a hunter or something, um, said John already. John, Jonathan. Here, Milo, or Miles. I feel like I need to crack my knuckles so somebody um, might crack their knuckles a lot. Someone could like to say girl. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's pretty much what I'm getting. I feel like there's some that are just rattling my head, but I'm not 
getting it. But if you see your person's initials, please honor that or their name. And I didn't say it. It doesn't matter if I say it. If you see it, that's all you needed. Um, honor that, honor that, honor that. And let's give you some advice. So what's some advice? You know, I know some advice came up through this, but let's see. Advice for this, con this connection. Okay. So we have the Nine of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. Oof, okay. I don't ever want to give anyone false hope for anything, but this is what I want to say about this combination. If you do feel very drawn to this person, you feel like this is meant to be or something like that, like they're, they're this unfinished business, even if you've been through a lot, there is if there is like uh, this feeling of or this vibe of determination and things coming back around, things shifting and changing. So just keep that in mind. Um, something returning but like being like like persevering through all of this dream follow you follow your yearning for the deep blue sea like wherever your heart's pulling you with this or anything in life please follow that there does feel like there's like there's like a don't give up vibe. Things are changing. Things are shifting. Things are coming back around. Like if you have a dream in your heart, keep that. Again, this could be a side message for somebody that has nothing to do with this. Um, but there is a feeling of like, if this weighs in your heart, like you, you don't have to give up on this just yet. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this here. Um, I think I'm going to, I used to do this. I used to do like an after reading chat cleanup. So if you want to stick around for that, I might do that. I'm cleaning this up even though I'm starving. But um, yeah, um, if you're interested in personal reading, you can find the information in the description box below. Um, and if you don't want to listen to me chat about whatever is on my mind, feel free to just Go watch a different reading of mine, please. No, <laughs> just kidding. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for spending your time with me. So, all right. Bye, guys. Don't worry, I'm going to be there in a second. guys i hope everybody's doing good i haven't done this in a long time all right talk to you guys after i'm done while i'm cleaning up but i feel like it right now so things have been crazy i still don't have internet i feel like i can't complain about that though um from the storm because that's really my biggest inconvenience and i have friends that lost everything between these last two hurricanes so um but it has kept me from doing videos because it takes forever to upload these any on high speed internet. And so when I'm uploading anything um, from like hot spotting it to my phone, it ties up everything for like an hour or two. And if someone calls, it messes it up. Like it's just a big mess. So I went out and got a mobile hotspot today because now I'm a week without having internet um, and I just couldn't go any longer. So um, I bought a mobile hotspot. So if it takes forever to upload that, that's fine. I can go upload and do other things and don't have to worry about my phone not being able to be used. So um, as, a sing as, a, as a mom, I, I never want to tie up my phone, uh, especially, you know, most of you guys know, especially if you've heard me, listen to me chat about this stuff, know that I have a special needs daughter. So um, perfect angel. She is like a little angel. Um, and I never want to like be unavailable. I'm already unavailable when I'm recording these, but um, I think you get what I'm saying. So I wouldn't want to put my phone on like airplane mode so then I don't have to worry about people calling. Anyways, but I guess my point is I went and got a mobile hotspot so I could do my work and it's okay. Because that was my biggest, my biggest stress lately. So um, I did this. These past two hurricanes have been a little crazy. Back to back. Though, I, I mean, both of them were rough in different ways. So Helene, for us, again, hard to, 
hard to complain or talk badly, especially with everybody, everything that happened up in the mountains. It's just, just insane. I still like can't wrap my mind how that happened. I mean, I, I know, I know scientifically how it happened, but people that don't get it, like, like hurricanes don't go up there. Like that, that like, uh, it's, and that's a whole mess. So if you live in that area and you were affected, like sending you so much love, like, I had a friend that was in Asheville when that all went down and then he subsequently came back over here and then we got hit by another hurricane. So I jokingly told him that the hurricanes are following him and to please stay away. <laughs> I was like, dude, literally both of them showed up where you were. Well, what, what did you do? So, um, anyways, um, but Helene, we had storm surge. Like I live, I don't live in a flood zone, so thank goodness. Um, where my house sits, I live about four miles from the ocean, but I sit up on a bluff. I mean, Florida doesn't have much elevation, but for what we have, I do sit on a bluff. So luckily, I'm in a non-flood area. I still haven't been able to go out to the beaches. Um, they were closed for a long time, unless you live there after Helene. And then, you know, this next hurricane came through. I was already out of town. Um, so I ended up staying out of town. I was out of town for my birthday up in Georgia. Um, and so I ended up staying evacuated, but that was a really hard choice to make. Um, so I haven't been out to the beach. Like I haven't gone to see a sunset because it's just a lot of like our, a lot of our beach access, like they have like these um, walkways that come up and then go over and have stairs. And a lot of them have been swept away. And so they have them blocked off. So then you can't even walk out there unless you own private property. And most of the most of the beach access aren't just walkouts. So um, I haven't gone out there to even check it out, but um, it's just been, it's been, it's been weird. It's just been weird. Um, let me move all these. It's just been a crazy, crazy weird cycle of hurricanes. I know the news keeps talking about another one coming, but I think that's a lot of um, trying to freak people out, which I don't think is cool. We've been through enough. Um, I follow one local um, guy, a meteorologist named um, Dennis Phillips in the Tampa Bay area. And uh, he always steers us correctly. But um, for as long as I've, li I've lived in Florida for since 87, I moved here when I was seven years old. Yes, you can do the math. I just turned 44 on my birthday on October 8th. Um, but uh, I have only evacuated two other times in the entire time I've ever lived here. So I didn't evacuate for Helene. I mean, some of you guys know I was recording while I was going by. I didn't realize it was tearing up our beaches with storm surge. Um, devastating, like places that I love at the beach. Like I really hope they, they come back from this. A lot of family owned places that just had basically from the storm surge, even though Helene was like a hundred miles off the ocean or off like the eye of the storm. If you know anything about hurricanes, like the, the hardest stuff is around the eye. Um, the eye was like a hundred miles off the shore. So we knew we were getting some storm surge, but not like that. That was insane. Um, so I'm, you know, hoping that all these businesses do come back. Cause there's some favorite places that I like to visit and, um, just all the beaches up and down Florida got wrecked from that. And then they got a second whammy of wind below Tampa got more storm surge, like Poor Anna Maria Island. I don't even know what is still there of it. If you know about that area, it's, it's just a mess and it's just sad. And I'm just rambling. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point, guys. Um, but uh, it's been a, it's been an interesting two weeks. So the schools, my kids have missed eleven days of school in a three and a half week period, which is insane. Um, so basically they only went to school a little over a week. So, um, in three weeks. So they don't know how that's going to be made up or if they're going to have to make it up. 
it, it's just been interesting. So, um, they went back to school on Wednesday. So they were at school like all last week because if, if you don't know, like if you live here, like if, if there's potential for evacuation or needing to prep, you know, they can't expect, you know, people like teachers and stuff to be able to prep and, and then still be in school. So they're usually out like a day or two before a storm's supposed to hit and then depending on what happens, however long. So a lot of our schools were, I think 80 schools in my district were out of power or in some of them that did have power being used for shelters. So uh, they couldn't go back to school till after that point, even though the storm came through on Thursday. So coming back Wednesday isn't too, too bad. Um, like I said, I still don't have internet. I really don't know what happened. Something must have got severed. Cause I, I, I had power when I got back. My parents didn't have power for five days. Um, I brought them lots of things. <laughs> um, but uh, it was just, it was just weird. It was, it was interesting. I know I hear a lot of conspiracy theories. I don't believe in any of those. I mean, weather's getting worse. Like we have, um, like the water here is so hot. I've never felt the water as warm as it is when I've been out over this season. So I, that's just the breeding storm for, it's like the per perfect combination for hurricanes to happen and really strong hurricanes. So if you guys watch Melton, it did get up to a five and even like a really like higher five than I think I've ever seen. Um, so that was nerve wracking too, to watch from afar. And since I had left my house, I didn't, I went on, on vacation not knowing cause this developed so fast. Like I left on a Thursday by like Saturday, it was like, there's a hurricane headed right for you. Um, Sunday, like I was going to come back on Monday, but then I was like, okay, if I come back and then I try to leave, I'm going to be stuck in so much traffic. And will I, uh, so it was just, it was such a hard decision to stay gone, but I didn't prep my house. So I was like, dear Lord, <laughs> please put it, please put a bubble. I do put protection around my house. And I think that it worked. All the limbs that did fall, like went over my house and one stayed attached to the tree like it was half the tree broke off but luckily it was still attached had it come detached it would have gone through the window that's on this wall like that I'm pointing to over here it would have crashed into my whole room and then my room would have been flooded from rain so um everything stayed safe for me um but yeah, I have friends at the, that live in Clearwater Beach that lost home, like completely, they're just going to have to demolish their homes from Helene and then uh, Milton coming through didn't help the situation, but their houses were already ruined. Um, I don't know. Yeah, as a Floridian, it was, it's definitely, I've never, I mean, 2004, we had Charlie and a bunch of other ones just kind of crisscross the state and when the schools were out a lot and have kids at that time. It's in my twenties. Um, and that was nuts. I think that was like five hurricanes in a six week period, but I haven't experienced anything like that since then. Um, I was up in Jacksonville at that time. The biggest thing that affected me from that is I didn't get to go see Incubus, con or I was supposed to go see an Incubus, Incubus play in concert. I still have yet to ever see them <laughs> and I've always wanted to. Um, but, uh, it was supposed to be in Jacksonville and so it got canceled, but then the hurricane didn't kind of come across us quite right. So we didn't lose power. So me and my friends, we just watched, um, Ingevis concert, um, on DVD, um, and try to enjoy it the best we could. So that was my biggest thing from, I always think about that, that year with all those hurricanes is I didn't get to see Ingevis. So I was really, really bummed out, but I have yet to see them since. And that was 20 years ago. <laughs> anyway, so um, I, I guess I don't have anything else to say. Thanks if you're sitting here listening to me ramble. It's probably just like my favorite people. So I should, you guys know who you are. I bet Casey's probably sitting here. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to end that because I'm starving. I'm going to go make myself something to eat. Um, but thank you guys so much always for the support. Um, thank you for all the love. Uh, thank you for watching old videos that did help me out. Um, even though it's just like pennies on the dollar, you know, when people watch an ad, but 
when more people do it, it does add up. So my, my daily numbers didn't fall too, too bad, but I have no idea how this video is going to perform once I release it because I haven't put anything out in two weeks. So we shall see. Um, YouTube doesn't like that. <laughs> so, um, it's okay. I, this isn't my first rodeo of trying to battle with things. Um, but I'm putting good vibes. So may, maybe it will, maybe, maybe this, this will just fly off the charts. I don't know. My goal with any reading I do is that whoever needs to hear whatever information is in it finds it. And that's really my only concern. Of course, you know, I do live in 3D life and I have kids um, and this is my main source of income. Well, not, not from YouTube because it's really not much, but the, the readings I get from YouTube is how I pay my bills. So, um, but I do appreciate each and every one of you guys because all that little bit did, I, like I noticed it in my numbers that, that people were, were watching extra and stuff. So I like, thank you for that. If you were one of the people that did that. So, all right, I'm going to end this. Thank you guys so much. Bye.